Hi YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and I love to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all. So today, instead of seeing the usual dark clutter behind me that you see in the other building where I usually work, you get to look at this clean shiplap. I am just loving this space up here. Um, if you missed the video a few weeks ago, I did one on how we turned a little section of our shop into a studio or workspace for me to work in. And I can tell already I'm just going to love it. Um, I have the, the white walls and it's much brighter and less clutter, of course. So I'm really excited to, to use it. I, of course, don't want to do any you know, wood cutting or anything in here because I want to keep this space clean, but just to put things together and maybe even do some painting, I will definitely be using it. So a few weeks ago, the sweet couple stopped in. They live about an hour and a half to two hours away, I think. Um, it's in Zanesville, Ohio, and they stopped in and brought me two beautiful beds, like headboards, footboards, you know, the rails and they did not want anything for them. I'm just blown away, guys, by how nice people are, uh, just the kindness of other people. And it's just such a good example to me, you know, to, I wanna pass that on to someone too then, but that's a whole nother story. But thank you guys, you know who you are. I just really appreciate, again, how you stopped in and dropped these off. And I am just so impressed with the beauty of these headboards. Uh, one of them I believe I may be able to keep as a bed. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with it as of yet, but this one had a few parts missing, so I may end up just turning it into a bench. That's what I wanna work on today. I've done this before. I've never really done a video on it, but it's where you just take a beautiful headboard. You can really take any headboard you have you know, on hand or find in a thrift store or garage sale and turn it into a beautiful little bench. So that's what I will work on and I'll take you guys with me as I go. As with a lot of my projects, I don't really just know exactly how I'm gonna do it until I start, so I can't really just tell you. So what I think I'm gonna do is probably take the side rails and use those as you know the side of the bench, but I do need some sort of a post, so I think I'll probably use two by fours and I have plans to actually paint the whole thing. Yes, you guessed it, I'm usually one to you know, paint my wood. Um, this is actually a beautiful color, but I really have a plan in mind. I want the seat to be like a natural or a stained wood, and then the back and the, the side to be painted. And I think there's so much character in these grooves on this board that I may even be able to maybe rub a stain or something in there and just make it look nice and old. So join me as I work on this, and I hope you guys enjoy. So what I want to do is remove the metal hooks or whatever you call them that hook into the headboard. I want to remove those that way I have more options on where I want to place the sideboard. I wanted my bench to be about 18 inches high total, and I know my seat part of the bench will probably be like a 3 4 inch uh, wood of some kind, so I allowed for that. I measured from the floor up 17 and a fourth, 3 quarter inch seat on there would make it 18, and then for my front post, I measured up to where the seat will be, plus I allowed 6 inches more above the seat for an arm or a rail for the side.
So I have some boards here that are cut to fit perfectly into the space for the seat. I also have a piece left over here that was just perfect for a skirting along the front. So I have decided for the arm part here, I would like the same shape as this fancy skirting here. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece that has kind of this design or similar to it that will run from this point you know, up to about here. Um, I think that would really add some character to this bench instead of just putting a plain piece of wood that I had been planning on doing on top of here over to the back. I think it would look really good with trying to get a fancy little shape in here for the style of a bench that it is. We just recently got this scroll saw, mostly for my 13 year old to use. Um, he's had so much fun with it and I decided to use it to cut out this shape here. So I'm here in the next day. Um, I didn't get the bench finished last night. We had other plans and we are seeing some partial sunshine here this morning. We have had about a whole week of just rain here in Ohio. So just seeing a little glimpse of the sun is awesome. And I get to work outside here where the birds are singing and it's just so nice. The next step here is sanding everything. And since I will be painting, you know, parts of the bench, and then of course the seat part will be stained. I won't fasten the seat until I have both of them finished. That way I won't have to mask or anything. I wonder what you guys would do here, but I'm debating to just leave these boards the color they are, just the natural color, and maybe give them a coat of linseed oil that will darken them just a little bit. The rest of the bench will be white, so I thought that would go you know, nicely with that, I think. And if not, I can always you know, stain them and apply a coat of polyacrylic if I choose to, but for now I'm going to try just leaving them the natural color they are. So the paint I'm using today is Do It Best brand paint, what I usually use. But in this case, I'm actually using exterior simply because I have an outdoor garden decoration that I want to paint after this. And I thought I might as well just use the same paint. It's okay to use exterior inside. 
I did thin it down just a bit with water. And my sprayer is so old here, guys. I have used it so much over the years and have loved it, but it does not spray like it used to. So eventually, if I do want to stick with air sprayers, I will have to invest in another one. But hopefully it will do the job today for me. Okay, so already I can tell these boards are going to be way too kind of orangish for me. So I guess I will end up staining them after all. The stain I'm using is a gel stain. The color is hickory. Normally I would definitely use rubber gloves to do this, but I'm all out. So bear with me here as I get my hands all stained, but I want to get this done. So I'm just going to go ahead and stain them. So the last thing I want to do to this bench is underneath the seat, I want to just add another piece of wood just for, you know, stability. I just cut off a 2x4 to the right size and I will fasten it with screws.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure had a lot of fun with this project. Um, it's so much fun to bring a new life to something like this. I hope maybe you are inspired to you know, think twice before discarding old unused pieces of furniture. Um, maybe they can be converted into something you know, beautiful or something that you can use again or someone else can. I feel with just a little bit of imagination, you know, putting some things together, and then of course with paint, anything is possible. It's just amazing what can be done. I hope you're all having a great week, and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye.